So after being gone from YouTube for maybe almost two years, I decided that, you know what, I want to continue my YouTube channel. And people are saying that I'm dead on YouTube, so I'm not. I'm alive and I'm making dresses and I want to show you guys how to make this gorgeous 50s dress. So grab your scissor and your fabric and let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is to grab your lining fabric and start shaping your bodice. Uh, it's important to fold the fabric in one inch in the middle for your seam allowance. So I would really recommend you to ask someone to help you with this because my arms were hurting so much after I was finished with this. And grab a pencil and then just start making your sweetheart neckline. And also it's important to make marks where your pins already are so that when you uh, remove all the pins you will still be able to see the pattern. should have six pieces of the fabric that you choose for your dress. one way and 30 inches the other way. You're going to fold it in half and then sew. Then you flip it around and top stitch it. Now with both of your bodice pieces right side facing each other, you're going to grab the strips that we created earlier and you're going to insert them next to the princess seam. this number by 3 so for me that is 78 inches and then you add 2 extra inches for the seam allowance and then you know the width of the skirt so we're going to make box pleats and this technique is very simple you just need to be very accurate so first you're going to make a mark on 2 inches and then the next mark will be at 4 inches this is optional you don't really need this mark and then the last mark is going to be at 6 inches. So I just remove the pin in the middle and then I bring the two pins together and put them in place. Skirt. 
After you have finished all the pleats, you're going to do a top stitch and then you're going to attach the bodice right side facing the skirt and do a top stitch without sewing the lining to it. The lining is, lining is going to be sewed by hand afterwards to make it a lot cleaner and nicer in the inside. Then you're just going to find a zipper that matches your fabric and then attach it to the dress. Thread, sew a couple of stitches and then you pull the thread and secure it. 